Welcome to Figma Bytes, the video series that aims to teach you to speed up your Figma workflow. I recently came across the need to make a prototype that had a fixed navigation with a secondary navigation that sticks to it when you scroll down the page. So today, we're gonna share with you the secret family recipe for double sticky navs. They're delicious, sit tight. Here we have a mock-up for a Figma Bytes video page. We have our logo header, some content, a filter bar, and the videos. If we present the prototype and scroll, everything moves. Step one is to make our logo header fixed to the top when we scroll. Back in our design area, let's select our logo header, move over to the design panel on the right, and press the position absolute button. This frame is made with auto layout, and you can't set something to position fixed when it's part of the layout. Now that we have the right positioning, Let's move to our prototype panel and change the position parameter to fixed. You can see that part of our design is cut off because the logo is overlapping it. To fix this, we need to add some padding to the top of our auto layout. Select the outermost frame and move over to the auto layout section of the design panel. Click the individual padding button and change the top padding to 64 pixels. Voila! Wait, why 64 pixels? Well, that just so happens to be the height of our logo header area. We're basically tricking the auto layout to pretend that our header is still part of the flow of the content. Now we'll go back to our prototype and see how the scrolling changed. Scroll the page and you'll notice that our logo area now stays fixed to the top like we wanted. But what if we wanted our filter bar to stick to the bottom of our logo header once they touch as we scroll? To do that, we need to trick our auto layout a bit more. Select our filter bar frame, go to the prototype tab and change its position to sticky. Back in our prototype, scroll and it doesn't look like anything happened. Our filter bar is actually sticking, but it's behind our logo header. This is where the trick comes in. We're gonna make our scroll think the logo area isn't there. Select the filter bar frame and wrap it in another auto layout frame by pressing Shift A. Now we wanna adjust our padding to 64 pixels on top. In the prototype tab, change the position of this new frame to sticky. This created a weird space in our design to fix that, select the title frame and change its vertical resizing to fixed height and subtract 64 from that height. Our gap is gone. Back in our prototype, we can scroll and see that it sticks. But if we keep scrolling, the video cards overlap. The fix for this is to change the stacking order of our auto layout. Select the outer frame, head into the auto layout section of the design panel and press the overflow icon. Now change canvas stacking from last on top to first on top. In our prototype, we can scroll and see that everything works as we want. Using this technique, you can even do fun things like this. Scrolling this prototype will stack up a tasty burger for you to enjoy. To cook this up, we use the same tricks but repeated the second part for each new piece. So the top padding you add to each new piece gets bigger and bigger to accommodate the space of each topping. And that's how you make things stick. I hope this Figma Bite helps you make saucy, scrolling, sticky navs for all your needs. Thanks for watching.